So hi again, and in this video we're going to take a look at um, Lightroom again. Um, it's been a while since we did some Lightroom work specifically, so today we're going to go back to Lightroom and we're going to look at how to use uh, collections, how to create collections and how to automatically put images in collections. So without any further messing about, let's get going, let's get on the computer and, uh, and do something. So here we are in Lightroom, we've got um, a library here that uh, that has got in it uh, oh 60,000 images so um, we're just going to see what we can pull out and uh, and can create some uh, some collections so we're going to go down into these into collections here on the left hand side we are of course in the library module we're not in develop or anything like that we're in the library module here and when we go into the library module we do get uh, on the left hand side um, the, these um, drop downs and one of which is collections so I have a collection there called video um, and there's nothing in it so um, I can show you how to create those and what we're going to do here we're going to create a single um, a single collection set now there's two types of collection set first of all we've got collection sets that um, if I just click on the add button there first of all we've got a standard collection and I'll show you what that is so we just create a standard selection now and we're going to create that selection we're going to call it normal selection yeah and that's going to be uh, inside the collection set video so we've got a collection set there I'll show you uh, how to create collection sets in a moment um, and then uh, we've got uh, a video there so we just create that and straight away underneath we've got this little drop this little folder effectively it looks like a folder called um, normal selection and really in the simplest of simple terms if we just go into anywhere else um, in our Lightroom folder and I've got some extremely debatable images uh, in here um, so don't judge me on those please but we can just grab images and we can drag them and drop them into that selection set so there we go into that collection and if I just do that a few more times these images are could be from any folder they can be from absolutely anywhere on your computer we just click back into there there we go we can see we have uh well i seem to have picked four, four people and some birds um strange uh, but um you know we can see straight away that uh, we've got those images in that in that folder you can, you can literally pull them from anywhere on your computer if you go down to your folders um and maybe uh, I'm going to look at uh, some stuff that's uh, going on in 2017. Um, let's get down here out of the way. Oh, what's that? That's some messing about it. I don't know. That looks like... Uh, where is that? Oh, that... I have no idea. Let's, let's jump down and pick some images that uh, are from... Uh, there we go, I've got a Howard Jones concert here. So we can just um, take some of these images. Uh, we can scroll down on the left hand side to where our collections are, open our collections, and we can pick one, two, three, four images at random. I'm holding my um, control key down, sorry, or command key, as I'm on a Mac at the moment. It would be a control key on a PC. We just drag those images and drop them into normal selection. Um, we could go back to our folders pick something from maybe uh, I don't know my sugar miners uh, messing about which uh, was just a, a playing few minutes um, and we just drag one of those images and whoop, we just need to find our selection at the moment to go on to collection and then we're just going to drag from the sugar miners into that normal selection so we've got 10 images in there now and there we are we've got a few people um, and then some sugar miners which um, yeah that was just messing about a little while ago um, but you can see straight away that we can just drag images from anywhere on our hard drive any any folder any time it doesn't matter we can just put them together quite quickly quite easily into um, a selection set now the interesting thing about this is we can we can still work on these images even though they're in now they're in a collection so this image here for example if I just decide let's give that five stars and let's just change its color label to blue okay now let's go and find that now in that folder so let's go back to sugar miners on the left hand side where was that down there we go and we should be able to see that now there we go so now 
it's got five stars and it's blue. Okay, so anything you do in the collection is actually going to alter and change the image as it exists um, or is replicated anywhere else in the system because you're really just putting it in there as a reference and the, the source is still the same. Now, what's really interesting about this is um, when you're building collections, let's go back to this normal collection. If I delete an image from here, so we've got this um, sugar miners here, it's all got a blue, got five stars. If I just hit the delete key, it instantly goes, but it hasn't been deleted from Lightroom. It's just been deleted from the collection. So when you're working with collections and you're using a normal selection set, you can just delete something very quickly, very easily, and it removes it from that collection. It does not remove it from the hard drive of your computer or even from the Lightroom library. So if we can now go back into Sugar Miners, that image is still there in our original folder where we thought it would be. So this, this is just another way to work with images. It's a great idea just to pull images together from all over the libraries um, really quickly and really easily. Now you can do that normally using these collections. Let's go back into collections and do it, do it manual as we've just done here. Or we could maybe get a little bit quick, uh, cleverer. Let's just click back on video and uh, we can go back here and hit the plus or we could hit the, the right key there and we're going to create a smart collection now. Now I was going to get a bit, little bit clever for us this time. So this time we'll call it smart collection. It's already given it a name, but we could give it any name. Smart collection will, there we go. Um, once again, it's going to be in the same um, collection set. This time, what we could do is we can give it some, um, some criteria to look for. So we know we've got all this metadata. And if you remember, um, we did a video on metadata a little while ago. So um, that should be appearing in the top right anytime now. There we go. So there is a video on metadata and, and tagging uh, um, uh, images when bringing them into Lightroom. What we can do now is um, we just delete that one and let's, let's have a look at this. So we're going to match all of these rules. So we're going to build some rules now. So we're going to look for images where the rating, that's the star rating, is going to be three star. We could have one star, we could have five star, but let's leave it at three. And let's add another one. So a little cross, a little plus on the right hand side there. Let's click that and let's change this one to say uh, and the uh, I don't know what should we look for. Let's look for some metadata. Let's for a keyword. So concert. So let's now find all the images that have got three stars that were taken at a concert. And there they are. So we've got a couple of concerts there straight away, um, which is you know the images we're working on in one of our previous videos. And straight away we've got all our images, we've got three stars, and we're taking our concert, bang, straight into uh, in one location. Now on this, on this one, you can't delete an image from a collection set because this is automatically generated. And if I went and shot another concert tomorrow and used the metadata tag concert in those images and gave some of those three stars, they would automatically appear in this collection set. And that's the beauty of a smart collection. It, you can just contribute to it automatically as you're going around your normal work. Let's, um, let's take a look at another one. So uh, that's quite straightforward because that's uh, all, all very similar stuff. So now, now let's go to um, uh, go back to this video and let's do another smart collection set. And this time, we, it remembers the last one you did, so let's delete that. We'll keep the three rating, I quite like that, and we'll just put another plus on it. This time let's go for a colour label. So let's pick a label colour of all our images that are, I don't know, red. I like red. And then we'll click create to see what we get. There we go. So now we've got all our images from everywhere in our Lightroom library, and we've got 63,000 images in this library and it's pulled out a selection that have all got a red colour label. Now that actually means something to me because I use colour labels quite quite frequently. Um, but uh, we can see there we've got a bunch of images that have got that, um, that red colour label. And there's Jenny right in the middle 
looking at me thinking what are you doing will um, but, but i'm making a video so um but we can go back and edit this at any time so let's decide we changed our mind we didn't want red we wanted purple so we can go back and edit that smart selection and we can just change that to purple and save it and there we go there's a different set of images that uh that we're, we've got a purple set so you get the idea of smart image collections and it's just really a really easy way just to pull images together into groups that just help them easier to find um, now I said I mentioned this thing here because we, we're using like a folder structure here and this top level of this folder is called if we just click the arrow there it's called a selection set so what we can do is we can just go and create a select a collection set and we're going to call that new one and the second option we get is to create that inside so kind of nesting these folders into each other let's not do that and uh, let's create that and down here we should have where's the new one gone there it is so we just created another another group and we can go and very quickly just create create another smart selection let's um let's go back to red on that on that one there we go and then uh, we've created another smart smart selection inside that uh, that collection set so that's collection sets in um in lightroom and i hope you really enjoyed that it's a really powerful tool to use to help you organize your images i hope you enjoyed this video if you have please hit the subscribe button which is right down there somewhere and uh, and that will um, let you know when we do more videos in the future um, or leave a comment or like the video please do and uh, we'd love it if you uh, engage with us and, and give us some comments until next time um, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon